the color is becoming very disturbing hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're going to be talking about vitamin c serum by la roche Posay that is called pure vitamin c 10. so i bought this one actually a while ago i bought it at the same time when i bought the hyalu b5 serum also by la roche Posay, and i did a review right here you can go watch it if you're interested and at the time i did not want to open up this one because i saw that it had a period after opening only two months so you only have two months to use this guy up before it goes bad because of that i did not want to open it right away i waited for the time when i was fully ready to commit to making a proper for a review for you guys and do the before and after photos with my mom and everything so now is the time okay so as always let's first start with the claims this anti-aging vitamin c face and neck serum leaves skin more radiant softer and hydrated as a result wrinkles look visibly reduced and skin texture and tone are more even and refined this serum combines concentrated 10 percent pure vitamin c salicylic acid and neural zenzyme for optimal effectiveness while also being suitable for sensitive skin okay so those are the claims anti-aging okay yes it does have anti-aging ingredients also being suitable for sensitive skin really is it really suitable for sensitive skin we shall see about that so here's the thing about this claim so all the other claims are okay i'm just gonna leave it at that if those are okay claims based on the ingredients i will get to the ingredients later on but this claim that it's suitable for sensitive skin now that one i have to disagree with because this serum actually has fragrance here's another contradiction that i stumbled upon while i was researching this serum so on the website on the official website you can find a claim fragrance free and suitable for sensitive skin but when you take a look at the ingredients you can find fragrance there so i'm not sure what's up with that the same thing happened with garnier anti-age sunscreen this one right here you can check it out right here that one had a claim safe to be used around the eyes and then it had instruction for use don't apply around the eye area avoid eye area so i'm, I'm not sure what's up with websites and contradictory things being written on the websites i'm not sure about that but on the website it says it's fragrance free it says that it's suitable for sensitive skin and then when you take a look at the ingredients it has fragrance so i'm here to disagree with that claim no this is not going to be good for sensitive skin because it does have fragrance all the other claims i can deal with because it does have ingredients to back up those claims and that brings me to the next category and that is ingredient part so here are the actives we have vitamin c salicylic acid and a neurozenzyme and there's also hyaluronic acid by the way low molecular hyaluronic acid now this serum contains l-ascorbic acid that is the pure form of vitamin c which is the best one that you can have in a vitamin c serum it usually can be found from the concentration of 5 to 20 percent now when it is above 10 percent it can cause irritation on the skin so because this one has only 10 percent you know it's um, less likely to cause irritation on the skin for me it did not cause any irritation but i don't have sensitive skin if you do have sensitive skin be careful but i'm going to talk about that in the category who can use this serum moving on with ingredients so here's the thing l-ascorbic acid is an amazing ingredient and it does boost the collagen production in the skin it does fade dark spots and reduces the appearance of wrinkles gives a more radiant finish everything that's all good but the problem is that it's not stable and formulators do have a tough time creating a formulation that is going to preserve the vitamin c for a longer time and you cannot stack up vitamin c serums because usually after opening it it's going to be good for maybe two months and and that's it so this one in particular you can use this one up two months after opening Opening, and after that throw it away if you don't use it up in that period of time just throw it away and let me just show you what is going on with this one so this one did not have this color when I first got it so it wasn't orange like this it was actually bright yellow see-through transparent yellow now it's orange so I have to use this guy up in the next couple of days and just throw away this bottle I opened it on August 15th and today is September 21st so it's just a little bit over a month that I have been using this one and it's already getting orange and uh, based on the period after opening I should be good with using it for another month until October 15th but I don't think it will look good if I wait that much so I'm gonna use it up in the next couple of days
ways and throw this bottle away and that's it i'm doing a review for you guys and i'm done so that's my advice for you too as well don't stack up on this one when you open it use it every single day day and night just use it up don't stack up on vitamin c so anyways i love that it has l-ascorbic acid also this serum has salicylic acid which is a bha beta hydroxy acid and salicylic acid is actually a great ingredient it acts as a mild exfoliant it's also great with treating acne also it's an anti-inflammatory agent so yeah overall salicylic acid is great so if, if anything i'm going to use this one up for the salicylic acid in it even if vitamin is already oxidized or whatnot and then we have neurosenzyme this is a d-peptide neurosenzyme is actually a peptide that is naturally found in our skin and it is shown that it can reduce the sensations of discomfort moving on other ingredients that i would like to mention in this serum are glycerin glycerin is a humectant binds water so that's great then we do have hyaluronic acid and we do have low molecular hyaluronic acid now that one is great because it can penetrate into deeper layers of the skin and it can reduce the appearance of wrinkles so yes the anti-aging claim is backed up by all of these ingredients and the last ingredient that i want to mention is vitamin e and actually vitamin e in combination with vitamin c works in synergy and it does give you uv protection but don't rely on this serum to protect you from the sun please wear a sunscreen i'm just Thing. that is a fact yes vitamin c and vitamin e do provide photo protection but no it's not enough to be worn on its own so just wear wear a sunscreen during the day okay 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 so that would be it regarding the actives that i wanted to emphasize to you guys now let me emphasize the controversial ingredients that is a special category this one has two controversial ingredients fragrance and alcohol now if you have been watching my channel then you know that alcohol is not a controversial ingredient for me but i mentioned it for you guys and for all the people that actually hate alcohol in their products and find it trying on their on their skin i actually don't mind alcohol and i think that alcohol is helping with the penetration of vitamin c here because yeah it is difficult for vitamin c to penetrate the skin so alcohol can only help in this situation that's my opinion so i don't mind the alcohol that's it but if you do here you have been warned and then the ingredient that i sometimes do mind is fragrance that's what i mentioned in the claims part so yes this does have fragrance and i I don't see how this serum can be good for sensitive skin when it does have fragrance in reality so there you go so the one claim that i don't agree with is that it is good for sensitive skin i wouldn't call it good for sensitive skin yeah that's the only the only claim that i don't agree with and uh, do i mind the fragrance well, well lucky for me my skin does not react to fragrance products usually the only time when i do react to fragrance products is when i'm using heavy actives like retinoids I mentioned that already on my channel so i'm leaving this up to you you have to figure out is your skin sensitive too sensitive if it is then the serum is not going to be good for you but if you can handle a little bit of fragrance then you can try out this product okay now moving to who can use this product well i would pretty much say everyone can use a vitamin c serum if you want a more even complexion a brighter complexion or if you have acne you can use this one because it does have And even if you have acne, this vitamin C serum will be beneficial for you because it does have salicylic acid. I just wouldn't recommend this vitamin C serum to anyone who has highly sensitive skin because chances are that this vitamin C is going to irritate your skin. Plus it has fragrance, so that's going to add to the irritation. So overall, if you're highly sensitive, avoid this serum. Okay, now let's see how to use this serum. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it is hard for vitamin C to penetrate through your skin. So in order to enhance that penetration, Penetration, I do recommend that you use it on damp skin or after washing your face and that's how I was using it I was using it during night right after washing my face while my skin was still wet I would apply this and wait a little bit for it to become tacky and then I would put a moisturizer on top to lock it in place because this actually does have the metacone in it the metacone is actually a silicone and occlusive silicone but that's not enough for you to apply this one on its own I would definitely recommend that you 
follow it up with a moisturizer on top if you're applying it in the evening and if you're applying it in the morning then you can just apply a sunscreen on top and just for the reference i filmed a demo application with both ways on one side of my face i applied it to the wet skin and on the other side of my face i applied it to the dry skin i actually dried just one side of my face just because i wanted to see how it acts underneath sunscreen i wanted to see if it was going to peel or whatnot so i tested that for you guys and yes you can apply it both ways but i still recommend that you do it on the wet face because that will enhance the penetration of vitamin c but this might mess up with the setting up of your sunscreen on the skin when when you apply sunscreen on the damp face that can mess up with the sunscreen a little bit so to work around that problem i would just advise you to apply two layers of sunscreen and that's it that's how you fix that problem and when you're applying it in the evening then just lock it in with your moisturizer favorite moisturizer that you're using and that's it okay now let me give you a demo application and this is a completely different lighting that's why i look so white so yeah ignore that i first start off with washing my face with CeraVe cleanser but that's when i use it in the evening so today i was using it during the day but i just wanted to include that step just so you know that yeah i don't usually do that in the morning i don't wash my face with seri cleanser in the morning and i did dry one side of my face and the other one i left wet because i wanted to test it both ways for you guys and let me just show you the color of the serum yeah as i mentioned earlier it is very disturbing that it is this orange but yeah never mind so this is how much i usually use and uh, I yeah I applied it both on the wet side and on the dry side this is the dry side to be more specific and soon after applying the product I feel mild tingling sensations on both sides of my face on the wet side and on the dry side and I let that sit for a while and then I go in with a moisturizer so if I'm applying it in the evening I use the CeraVe moisturizing cream on top and if I'm applying it during the day I use the sunscreen on top and and my best advice for you would be to apply it on the dry skin if you're using it during the day and then follow it up with a sunscreen just to avoid that sunscreen problem that I was talking about you know to avoid messing up with the sunscreen if you're applying sunscreen on the wet face it's probably not going to set up correctly etc so maybe just apply it on the dry face during the day and then in the evening you can apply it on the wet face to enhance the penetration and just follow it up with a regular moisturizer and that's pretty much it that's my advice on how you should apply it okay now let's check out the before and after photos yes I was using this with my mom and you know my mom has dark spots and I always use her as my guinea pig for testing these products out and so I did this time before I show you the before and after photos I would just like to say that my subjective feeling is that my skin has become more blurred out if I can say so more even that's just how I feel when I look at myself in the mirror now do others see that I'm not sure but I can say that that I feel like this serum has helped my skin and that's just my subjective feeling but let's see what the before and after photos have to say let's see if there's something there I have them here on my phone um, okay so let's see well it seems that this main dark spot right here is a little bit lighter in the after photo that's how it seems to me but then again when I take a look at my mom's face she still has those dark spots there they are not gone so this did not reduce it completely in a month but there is a difference in the after photo so there you go it does do something to the skin maybe that feeling that my skin was blurred out and more even wasn't you know or just my subjective feeling maybe it did that for my skin as well so so there you go it does do something it does actually show some effects and now finally let me give you my final verdict on this serum i'm going to divide this category in pros and cons let's first talk about the pros so the pros will definitely be that i do like that it has 10 percent of pure form of vitamin c which is l-ascorbic acid then it also has salicylic acid which is great also i like that it has low molecular hyaluronic acid and vitamin e and yeah overall i love the ingredients and i love that it does actually show the effect and it does blur out your skin and make it more even so that's all great but now let's talk about the cons unfortunately it does have quite a few cons for me so first of all it has fragrance and no it's not going to be good for sensitive skin overall if you're sensitive think twice before buying this one 
Also, the next con, the dropper is not my thing and plus it's a vitamin c serum and if you already know that the problem with vitamin c is that it's not stable why put it in a dropper like why I, I don't understand that so no i do not like the packaging and i do not like the dropper and the dropper is just going to help it go bad even sooner because every time that you open it you're going to expose it to air and it's going to oxidize even more so no the dropper is not good and i think there are better options for packaging of the vitamin c for example you certainly did a way better job with the packaging of their vitamin c serum i do have a review on that one right here so they have three little bottles in each of them you activate vitamin c before starting to use that bottle and you have two weeks to use up that one unit and that way vitamin c is not exposed to the air it's just a way better packaging that's just my opinion and go watch that video to see what i'm talking about so definitely it's 21st century and we do have better options than the dropper just saying Larash. Yeah, that's another con. I don't like the dropper. Also, one more thing. This actually came, the bottle was closed, and then the dropper came alongside in the packaging. I think I have a footage of that somewhere. I'm gonna include it here. So this was not, the dropper was not in a plastic bag. It wasn't sterile, if I can say so. So Lord knows how many microorganisms were already on this dropper before I put it in the bottle. So it's not very sanitary the way it was packed in that bottle. So yeah, I don't like that either. For 30 bucks, Larash could have at least put this dropper in a plastic bag or something like that. It's just another thing that it's going to make your vitamin C go bad sooner. So there's that. That's another con. Will I buy it again? Um, well, I, I'm not sure. Um, I don't like the dropper, but I do like the product itself. The product is really good and I love the effect on the skin. But then the dropper thing is really putting me off. So I'm not sure, but as in every video, please take into consideration everything that I have said so far and figure out would this product be good for you or not. And yeah, that will be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.